Let's go to that US report uh, in relation to the, the really botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. Um, I think right around the world, any country that had lost blood and treasure on that battlefield uh, was incredibly disappointed. I think veterans were angry at the way it was handled in the early days of the Biden administration. What does the report have to tell us? Absolutely, it was botched and the fallout from that just continues, you know, till this day and the veterans community is very, very angry about that. People, American citizens were left behind, Afghans who were promised that they would be removed out of there were not, uh, and $8 billion worth of top grade equipment is in there. But I always make this point that the withdrawal is still the tip of the iceberg and the ho whole overall story of Afghanistan. 20 years, longest war in US history, $90 billion spent, almost 3,000 people died, and for what? Like the, the mission, and the scope was never clear, and it sort of evolved as it went along, and I think that remains in the backdrop. And then on top of that, the withdrawal not being good just uh, makes a bad story worse. You've got a long parliamentary line of sight on this, Michael. What's your comment? Well, thank heavens uh, Biden stuffed that up before the Ukraine invasion, because Robert yeah, Gates point, said point. that he's never made a correct foreign policy decision in his life, and he's made a correct one with Ukraine. But that's because the, the Americans couldn't humiliate themselves on the world stage again and be trusted with a, uh, a uh, leaving the Ukrainians a, a, alone in the field. So they're doing the right thing now because they did the right thing, the wrong thing previously. So. Um, small gains, um, and let's hope that um, the, the real difference is for, for to have Iraq and Afghanistan and Ukraine in perspective is the Ukrainians want to fight for themselves. Yeah. The Afghans and the Iraqis, I mean, you could arm them as much as you liked, but um, there wasn't the will there. Uh, it's what General Hodges says, the Ukrainians have the will to win. I think there's some Afghani women that had the will. But yeah, I wish they could have been armed. Well, I'm sure they do too. <laughs> uh, just quickly, why on earth are British taxpayers spending literally millions and millions of dollars to shut down wind turbines? <laughs> it's just this other example of a flaw in the infrastructure where they're producing the capacity and then the cables that transport it from uh, the grid it's in the north in Scotland and northern mm -hmm. England don't work or don't have enough capacity to take them down to the south where the demand is. And, you know, normally technology has these types of kinks as it's being developed. That's normal. The problem is there's so much intervention from governments and activists to push this out before it's ready for prime time. And this just shows that example yet again. Poor old taxpayer yet again. Michael and Kosher, thank you. Thanks, Peter.